Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Tom, this is T-Dubs and in this video I've got my good friend John Griggs from Vehicle Insulation installing the latest product from Dodo, the Dodo Thermoliner 15mm. Massive shout out to you guys and a huge thank you for supplying me with this product. You'll find this in the link in the description below. Let's get started. Hi, it's John again from Vehicle Installations. I want to show you this brand new product that's just come out from Dodo. It's their Dodo uh, Thermal Liner 15mm. We are actually bringing out a bigger one as well, which is a 30mm. For the vans going into the, the more colder climates, let's say, you know, we, we can cater for everything. So basically, this is the roll. It comes in one metre wide and five metres long. Again, very simple to apply, as per all Dodo products. We have the lines on the back, so you can, it's very easy to measure and cut. And um, the one thing I would say, cutting this product on the 30 mil, rather than use a, a normal standard Stanley knife, I would use a larger knife, a craft knife, because it tends to catch because it's so thick. So if we use this knife, so we've already measured the panel, which is 29. So we'll do a little mark on there, so we know where it is. Put that on a flat surface using our straight edge. Nice sharp craft knife. If you don't use a sharp craft knife, it'll actually just keep gathering. Take your time with it. There we go. Might have a little bit where you haven't gone through. Let's just. Nick those off, just tiny little bits. There we go. Before we get into the van and while you're here, we'll just show you the actual product and the thickness of it. You'll see it's 15mm. This is made from a special closed cell uh, foam. Um, so it's oil and water resistant, so it's not going to soak up any moisture and things like that. The way that it works, it absorbs temperature. So it actually helps to keep it cool in the summer, warm in the winter. It's got a reflective layer on there that actually, actually help to heat the van. As the heat rises, it reflects from there and actually helps to heat the van. What this is also great for is blocking airborne noise. So on top of the sound deadening, which stops the resonant sound, now we're adding this, which is actually going to block airborne noise. So it's more soundproofing we're going to add to it. And the other great advantage is it's actually going to stop the condensation, which we know is a big, big issue on vans. No need for vapor barriers. They actually can create moisture traps because it's very difficult to create a true moisture barrier. But with this, because you're applying it directly to the panel, you've got no more cold panel for your warm air to get in touch with and in contact with. So it's going to work far, far better than vapor barriers, things like that. So we're going to go to the van in a sec and show you how easy it is to apply. So again, very, very simple. It's cut, peel and stick. So up it up, just take some of the backing off. Put it roughly where we're going to go, lay down the first bit, pull off the rest of the backing. And there we are, easy as that. Now what we can also do to make this job a lot neater is actually take the edges off. So we use the aluminium tape, great little tip on this is when you use the aluminium tape because it's very difficult to peel off. If you peel one loop round, so you're leaving the backing paper on the actual front, it's a lot easier to peel off and apply. So what we're going to do, I'll just show you quickly on this edge because you do need to cut some more to fill in the other edges. So you just do, to cover the edges, rip it to shape. And that's just, Foiled on the edges. So we've actually already done the roof. I think Tom's going to grab the camera and you'll see what we've already done on the roof. You see we've applied it to all the panels and we've taped all the edges to make it tight. We haven't taped them to make it watertight or airtight because it still needs to breathe. So these holes which are in the ribs we still left those open because if you seal those you can actually create moisture inside because there's still uh, what we might what we do a lot of the time is add the dodo fleece in there but still shouldn't cover these up because you need ventilation on it so there we go so we'll come back later on 
we'll show you more of the uh, thermal insulation we've done with these new products from Dodo. And that's it guys. Um, thank you very much for watching. A, another massive thank you to Dodo uh, for supplying both so far the sound deadening and the thermo liner. Um, join myself and John in another video where we'll be installing yet another new product from Dodo, part of their SQ range. Ignore the fact there's a hole there. I'm getting ready for the next video. See ya.